all started with this tweet from 2K, and it just says as follows. NBA 2K24 brings many changes and improvements to the My Player Builder to ensure this is the best builder ever created. A whole new badge progression system to my career and the city. And then they said, you know, they talk about you get the 24 new badges, 77 in total. You'll want to build a my player that fits your play style. And then, you know, they let you learn more on the uh, court report, man. A lot of people had some issues with this man because they didn't know exactly what it was you know they hit you with to take a closer look and then with these with this closer look you're able to see you know you're able to see some of this stuff and it shows you every single thing i'm gonna break all of this down for y'all and we're gonna talk about some stuff that mike wong was talking about in one second but before we get started make sure y'all like the video man comment y'all thoughts down below y'all already know we're trying to go with this thing to the moon Hey, man, and if nobody told y'all this today, y'all, my folks, man, love each and every last one of y'all. Also, the link for the Discord is down in the description. We're going to be doing some tournaments this year. We're coming to crossplay tournaments. We're going to be doing sub uh, wars, like almost every stream. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff, man. Also, we're going to be streaming mostly on Twitch. We may stream on YouTube a couple more times, but mostly going to be on Twitch. Make sure you join the Discord so you know when I drop new videos and all of that good stuff. And also, Check out the site, man, Breeze Tees. You know, you can make your own custom shirts. Some people have been wanting that Trump shirt. They've been ordering that with the mug shot and all that. So uh, hook yourself up, man. Got some stuff for the females and all that good stuff, man. And with all that out of the way, let's just get back to it, man. So I wanted to kind of break this down to you guys, man, because a lot of people didn't understand exactly what is going on with this. With this badge system, you will have because they're talking about the fluctuating badges and regression and stuff like that and then the way that you earn the badges you only earn the badges in a, in by doing something that, re that that's required of you in order to get the badge so to get limitless range you're going to have to shoot limitless range shots you, you can't shoot it's not like this year where you're going to have bad point badge points zach timmerman actually confirmed that there are no badge points this year you will have access to every badge that is here and and the level of the badge that you have access to is going to be determined by your uh, by your attributes or what have you. So you see right here, this guy right here, he just says, "Hey, look, look, it, it shows the attribute requirements. So to get Claymore, you have to shoot um, 63 pointers to get it on on uh, bronze, 70 to get it on silver, 82 three pointers to get it on gold, and 92 three pointers to get it on Hall of Fame. It's not." that bad as far as grinding it up or, or you know doing what you got to do as, as as it goes but it's going to be a self-governing system and i'm going to show y'all how it's a self-governing system in a moment because like somebody got you know you got aerial wizards I always call it aerial power shout out to aerial powers man hey but uh aerial wizard something like that you may have aerial wizard equipped or you or you may get it eventually but somebody like me i'm never going to use it I, uh, unless i'm catching alleys or something like that right pro touch i don't even shoot layups so that badge won't be that high for me it, the, the badge system is going to be geared to or your the level of your badge is going to be geared toward what it is that you actually do so you could theoretically make a bill that has access to all 77 badges. you make a very even bill you have access to all 77 badges in the game but you're not going to be able to maintain all 77 badges in the game because your play style dictates the badge, if that makes any sense. And then you go back here. And so in order to protect certain things, like if it's something, and I'm gonna show y'all this on the 2K deal, like let's say Green Machine would be something, this, this badge right here, Green Machine is something right here. I mean, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna use that all the time. I don't have to protect that. Blinders, however, I don't take many bad shots. So if I actually work up and get blinders and I get um and I get like uh dead eye or what have you, I'm going to have to work to maintain those. But the the, the best thing and the worst thing about it for some people is that it, it, it ain't nothing free anymore. So like let's say let's say right here, like I got acrobat for free. All I, I mean I, I got it for free. I didn't do I mean I got three bad points to quit, right? I didn't do anything to get acrobat. I haven't taken any acrobatic shots. I don't go in there and do the do do the uh, the switch up layups. I got Giant Slayer for free. Under this new system, it would be like I got Giant Slayer for free. But everything that I got in here, I would have access to, right? I would have access to Back Down Punisher. I'll have access to Back Down Punisher, Dream Shake, uh, Drop Step. I could have these all at whatever level they'll let me go to at the same time what, what level can i go to i can only go to that go to bronze on this post man i can only go to bronze so i could get all of these guys 
and have them on bronze. But let's say something like Aerial, Aerial Wizard, right? Aerial Powers, Aerial Wizard. I wouldn't be able to, I would have it, but it would, it would probably stay bronze because I don't use that badge as much. A better, a better example would probably be to use shooting, right? So let's, let's look at shooting, right? We got limitless range right here. I got limitless range for free. I didn't have to shoot limitless range shots in order to get limitless range. I shot a bunch of Claymore shots and then I got the points and I applied them to limitless range, right? Just like a lot of people have Agent 3 right here. Right here, they got Agent 3 and they didn't shoot, they didn't shoot any uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Revert and exit. Because I can't I can't be going, I can't be doing that. But I, hey, but look, a lot of people didn't shoot any step back threes or any any uh any stuff like that in order to get it. They didn't shoot any corner shots to get corner specialists. They didn't shoot any catch and shoot shots to get catch and shoot. Like Brute don't even shoot catch and shoot shots, right? He will have access to catch and shoot probably on whatever the highest tier I have it on. So on goal, right? He will have he will have access to catch and shoot on goal. But Brute's catch and shoot will probably migrate toward bronze because he's not a catch and shoot guy. I, however, am a catch and shoot guy. So mine will probably stay on goal. He's probably not gonna take enough catch and shoot shots per game in order to keep it up there. Just like he's not gonna take enough corner shots. Conversely, somebody like me that only shoots catch and shoot, corner specialist, and, I, and Claymore shots, mine will stay there. He'll have access to Claymore, but his is not going to stay on gold or anything because those are not the type of shots that he takes. So it's gonna be a self-governing system. I'll have slippery off ball, but Brute probably, Brute will have access to slippery off ball. Also, he can actually equip it. It will be equipped probably on bronze, but it'll never go any higher than that because he does not play off ball. Volume shooter will probably be like silver for me. It'll go towards silver for me, but it'll probably be hall of fame for him, right? But we'll all have access to all the same badges. We'll have access to amp. Amp will probably be bronze for me. It pro I'll probably never even get amp because I don't take shots when I'm tired. You see what I'm saying? And even if I do get it, it's gonna migrate toward toward uh, bronze because I don't do that. Clutch shooter, eh, you know that it, it depends. That's gonna be that's that's an iffy badge. You may not even have access to it. So if you get this to Hall of Fame clutch shooter, there may not be any clutch moments in the game. So the badge never had the opportunity to fire. So you won't be penalized for it. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's more or less how it's going to go with this comeback kid. It might be the same thing. It may not get a chance to fire you, so it'll stay where it is. Mini Magician, nearly everybody in the game, Mini Magician is going to be toward toward bronze because a lot of people don't take mid-range shots. Guard up, hey, that, that I shoot a lot of shots where people are bearing down on me, so guard up in my dead eye. Those might go, if, if it's for late closeouts and stuff like that, those shots for me, I'll actually have these badges this year because I take shots where people jump at me and, and they have late closeout. So I'm, I'm hoping that this is making sense, man. Like, like you're, it's gonna be a very self-governing system. A lot of people think it's gonna be overpowered because like right here, I can, let's, let's say out of this category, out of this category, I could get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I can get 16 badges out of this category, but handles for days, that'll never go, I mean, clamp breaker, that's never gonna go up for me because I don't do that. Handles for days, even if I get it up there, it's gonna be toward bronze. I never do that. Killer combos, all these will be unpluckable. Unpluckable may, may go up or something like that, but it's, it's not gonna be, it, they, just, they just won't go up. They'll be there, but because I don't handle the ball like that, I'll have access to them, but I won't, they won't go up. Vice grip, because people, they say vice grip is gone. Hyperdrive, bailout, bailout will go up for me, but I don't bail out that much, so it's probably gonna stay on bronze. Somebody like Brute, his probably go to Hall of Fame because that's how he plays. Quick first step, that may go up and that may stay because, you know, but I, I may not even have enough dribbling to even set that off. You understand what I'm saying? So. Whatever my attributes are, floor general, I think they said floor general is gone. Dimer, relay pass, or all those things, those probably will stay up because I do, I do, but it's not gonna stay up to the level. Now, defense, like here, I will have access to every one of these defensive badges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There's 16 defensive badges. Ankle braces, I'm always up there, but somebody might not break me, so it may not go that high. Yeah, I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. And a lot of people, like this right here, box out beast. You bitches don't block out. So so you're probably never gonna get box out beast. A lot of people just jump and you probably, so your rebound chaser will probably be up, but because you don't box out, you're probably not gonna get box out beast, right? Off ball pass, I don't know if they said it's still in the game or not, but yes, it is still in the game, I saw it. Um, Off ball pass, 
a lot of people do the hand fighting in the corner so your off ball pest will probably go up pretty quick pick dodger like that's probably gonna go up but if nobody's setting screens on you then your pick dodge is not gonna go up and it's not gonna stay up like this year it was a whole lot of iso so it wasn't a lot of pick dodger so pick dodger may not be high for some people you understand what i'm saying so you're gonna have access to all of these in the game pogo stick you'll have you could you could theoretically have all 16 of these badges at the same time but it won't be high enough some of them are not going to be high enough to make any difference like i'll have access to anchor but if i'm a lockdown and i'm a perimeter lock i may not have it's not going to be up high now if i'm a lockdown and i play a lot of i play a lot of of uh let me see what what can my anchor go up to my anchor can only go up to bronze anyway so it'll just go to bronze and stay there but if i had my 610 his anchor i think his anchor can go up to to like uh gold or something like that so on my 610 i'm gonna have a lot more things that i can do but it's gonna be a very self-governing system just because of the fact that there's no way that you're going to be able to do everything that you that you that you have selected enough in order to to keep every badge on hall of fame so like here open looks for me yeah I, it, it'll probably be on hall of fame all season all i do is shoot open shots but two-step if i get something like blinders or something like that giant slayer uh all those things the things that you don't use the most you want to protect those under immunity as much as possible the things that you do use moderately i would put those in overdrive so you can keep that badge progress but the things that you do all the time i wouldn't even worry about them and then the things that you just have to maintain you just put them in drill savant you go do the drills and you get them back but i'm hoping that that y'all are understanding what i'm saying you will conceivably be able to get every badge what's my anchor on here so my anchor's on gold here right my anchor will stay on gold the entire time because this guy this guy isn't is, is this my uh this is my center right here so I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to keep that anchor up, but you'll conceivably be able to get every badge in the game. I might have every badge on here, and it might be bronze or it may be silver or something like that. But my playstyle post lockdown is not gonna stay up just because you know people don't do that many moves. Menace is gone. Workhorse I don't even know if that's there, but I'm, I'm, I don't run around after the ball enough so that wouldn't stay up. Ankle braces it will be self governing. I'm, it might be on bronze. And, and it can go up to gold. It would never get up to gold because this guy doesn't play on the perimeter. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So you can get everything and you can probably go into your my career and keep it up. But after a few games, it's going to atrophy so bad that it's not even going to matter. And it's a very self-governing system. Now, somebody that's going to really be OP though is somebody that goes into my career, grinds their badges up and actually maintains their badges like to the t like i like i plan to do like if i if i have a certain badge or i have certain badges that i want to keep up it's, it's gonna be it that's that's what i'm going to do but the the biggest part about it is being self-governing is you cannot protect enough badges or use enough badges enough per game in order to have everything at hall of fame and thus be overpowered at least that's the plan for right now somebody's probably gonna figure it out i sure as hell am gonna try but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I hope this, this made it as clear as mud for y'all. But what I'm saying is you will have access to all of the badges that your attributes allow, right? If, if, your, bad, if your attributes allow it, you'll have access to all of the badges, but you won't be able to maintain them at a high enough level for it to matter if you don't do the actions that are required of the badge. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys,